So the question was, is I am a language arts teacher, kind of looking middle to high school. What are some of the features I can use, especially trying to maximize split screen? So let's go ahead and look at a fun example of how you can actually use split screen in this scenario for your classroom. And of course, you can always go ahead and kind of take this idea and bring it over into any other subject. But again, the question was for our language arts. So let's go ahead uh, and help these folks out. So I am on the home screen of my panel. What I'm gonna do to access split screen on the Q series panel is I'm gonna actually take two fingers and I am going to flick up from the bottom of the screen. If you're somebody that has broken flickers and you can't get that quick settings menu to pop up, don't forget over on the right side of the panel, you are gonna see a button that has three lines, like three pancakes stacked up. That will get you that quick settings menu as well. So in here, I'm gonna just go ahead and give my split screen option a little tap tap a -roo. And of course you can scroll over, um, you know, your different apps that are available for split screen and all that kind of great stuff. You can kind of go through. So if you have, you know, any specialty, you know, reading or language, um, you know, apps of that sort, if you have a Shakespeare app, if you haven't downloaded it, um, that is available in the New Line App Store. Let's say, ironically enough, Shakespeare is where we're going to go for example. So for example, if I wanted to go ahead, I'm going to go online. So I'm going to grab my Chrome and bring that over my Chromium to one side of the panel. And then I'm actually, I can scroll around if I want to choose something different. I'm going to go into my file commander uh, because maybe I have, you know, a worksheet or a PDF or something else that I want to bring up, I could also bring that up into the whiteboard because you can import PDFs into our whiteboard. Um, and I'm going to pop into my downloads and I actually have um, just a document that is the prologue looking for Romeo and Juliet. So if I wanted to, I say just kind of happen to bring up the balcony scene, but if we wanted to go through and actually play any of this information, I could go ahead and do so. Yes. One light through yonder window breaks. It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. There you go. And then if I had a worksheet, PDF, anything else that would tie into, you know, kind of line by line as we're going through, I could go ahead and do that. And so we can actually work side by side and if you're like, wait a second, how can we edit? I'm so glad you asked because you have options. Um, so if I wanted to, I'll say easiest way uh, is going in and grabbing my onboard annotation tool. So I can go ahead, use my onboard annotation. So this is actually the prologue. So as we're getting started, and I can start filling everything out, uh, which is fantastic. So if I wanted to go kind of line by line, uh, we could do that. So we could actually watch it play and then go line by line. Pro tip for you, if I turn automatic screenshot off, I can close my annotations, continue with my video. Arise, bear sun, and kill the envious moon. Authorities. Grab my annotations again. Ah, everything that I wrote magically comes back. So now I can keep adding to it. So that's a really nice little pro tip. Again, what I did is I grabbed my annotations from my side toolbar and I just turned that automatic screenshot off because when you do that, um, you can continue to write working on one thing. So if you wanted to bounce back and forth between a video and a worksheet, it allows you to fill out as you go, which is fantastic. So very handy. Um, that's one way you can go ahead and do that. Uh, like I mentioned, you also have the option if you wanted to, we could grab, you know, something different from the right side over here, or we could, you know, do something completely different. I could go into my whiteboard if I wanted to do that. I could very easily grab a PDF document so I could grab the same one I was working with if I wanted to do that. And this is an endless canvas, which is very, very handy. Uh, so I can have this kind of on one side. I can make it larger and smaller, but same concept. If I scroll down YouTube video, I could actually bring a video in. So that way we could watch the video as we do a worksheet or anything else. So you've got options, which is fantastic. So you actually can split screen the panel, again, from the quick settings menu, 
go into split screen and you can grab any of your applications down here, go side by side. Or if you were doing video and document, you could do that natively in the whiteboard as well. So whatever works best for you, hopefully that's a good getting started uh, tip and trick. Stay tuned for more to come. Keep your questions coming and we'll go ahead and continue to create my videos, hopefully to help you out. So talk to you again soon. Take care.